Carlos Alcaraz versus Alexander Zverev is the fourth quarter final for the Men's US Open for 2023. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Zverev into the tournament as the number 12 seed. I'm gonna take on Vukic in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-4, 6-4. In the second round, he'd take on Altmaier. And after splitting the first two sets, he would fight back to win. 7-6, 3-6, 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on Dimitrov, the 19th seed. And after dropping the first set, he had to save set points in the second, eventually getting through in four. 6-7, 7-6, 6-1, 6-1. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number six seed, Sinner, who had just taken out Vavrinka in the previous round. And this was a banger, with both guys splitting the first two sets. Sinner cramping in the third, and Zverev having to push to the fifth. Zverev would eventually get through in over four and a half hours. 6-4, 3-6, 6-2, 4-6, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number one seed, and would take on Kopfer in the first round. But after the first set, Kopfer would have to retire injured, giving Alcaraz the win. 6-2, 3-2, retirement. In the second round, he'd take on Harris, and after a close third set, Alcaraz would get through in straights 6-3, 6-1, In the third round, he'd take on the 26th seed, Dan Evans, a man that he'd beaten earlier in the year. But after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would fight back to win 6-2, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Arnaldi, who had taken out Nori in the previous round. But the experience of Alcaraz was too good, getting through in straights 6-3, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to another US Open quarterfinal. These two guys have played five times before with Zverev actually leading the head to 3-2. However, Carlos has won two of their last three matches, but those were all on clay courts. Zverev has won their only two hardcourt matches back in 2021. If Zverev's going to win this one, he needs to serve big. He served so well at times against Sinner and really pushed him to the brink. However, he is going to be physically tired, so we're going to see pretty early on whether or not he can be aggressive early. He's going to have to win that first set if he is going to take something out of Alcaraz. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to drag the rallies out. The longer this match goes on, it feels like the better for Alcaraz because Zverev, of course, is coming off a four and a half hour epic, and Alcaraz is out a pretty easy road to this stage. So he's going to have to drag out the rallies and really make Zverev move and work those legs. This is an interesting matchup because, of course, we've seen them play three times in the last, you know, 18 months on a clay court. We haven't seen them play on a hard court for a while, especially this Alcaraz against this Zverev. But I have to go with Alcaraz in four. I think Zverev might be able to get a set, but Alcaraz is just too good at the moment. And it's Zverev had a great win over Sinner, but I don't know how much he has left in the tank. So I'm going to go with Alcaraz in four to make the semis. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the semifinals.